So I'm going to tell you the story. My hair's all messed up because I've been wearing the hat all day. But I'm going to tell you the story myself because my dad left. Um, he went out to fix his car. So yeah, I'm going to be telling you the story about what happened to my dog um, myself. Two nights ago, and it was 2.20 uh, a.m. Uh, I'm sound asleep. I fell asleep about two hours before that, so around 12 o'clock I fell asleep. And uh, I heard running, and then I heard a big, like, bang. And I, I sat there for a solid five minutes because I was scared. I was like, what the hell just happened outside? Like, I was, I was actually so, like, kind of, I was like, skittish about going out and checking what it was. I finally man up enough to go and look outside of my room because I happened right outside of my bedroom. I look out there and I see that my dad, I see like a figure of my dad and I knew it was my dad because the short hair. And I saw my dog, the golden one Fenway. I saw him on the ground and my dad was petting him. So I was like, what happened? Like, what was that noise? And keep in mind, this has happened in the past, but not this bad. He said that he was having a seizure. Um, this has happened before, but never to the point where it's lasted this the amount of time that it did this time. I'm not kidding you, This his seizure lasted for at least an hour and it was the scariest hour of my life. Uh, I love that dog so much, like that's one of the best dogs I've ever had. And I was actually terrified, I thought he was gonna die cause I had no idea what was happening. I've never seen him personally have a seizure before. So this was the first one I've seen him and with my luck, it was the worst one that he's had. So we're just sitting there and my dad's just petting him the whole time. Um, which is brave of him because dogs tend to snap when they're having a uh, seizure So they tend to like bite and scratch people. So he's pretty pretty manly to be have petting that dog when it's having a seizure uh, And it could bite him at any second. So thankfully uh, Fenway did not bite my dad, but that would have been bad But um, so I'm sitting in my room and I'm with my mom and with my dog my other dog Lucy and The whole thing's just happening and it would go and then he would stop and he would just start breathing really heavily and I think it's because it's so tiring that he's so he's tensed up for so long that uh, it just gets to a point where it's tiring. So he's panting really heavily. And it'll last for about 10 seconds that he'll just be calm. Well, that, the calmest it could possibly be. And then all of a sudden he would just do it again. It would tense up and he would hit the wall a little bit because he was right next to the wall. So his head would hit the wall and he would tense up and he like wouldn't blink and he would just be... I don't know, it was so scary. And literally out of nowhere, my dog, my other dog Lucy went outside. So they they sleep all the way upstairs where I sleep too. Um, so my dog Lucy went down the hallway, went downstairs, and then went out the back door over here. Upstairs and over here, we have a dog door. So that's what she did. Literally as soon as he heard that dog door open. I'm downstairs at this point. I'm getting a glass of water. I'm trying to calm myself down. Um, take a couple deep breaths. Just think about what's happening. Um, so I'm just thinking about, I'm just trying to process everything. So all of a sudden I'm, I'm about to sit down on the couch up in our living room and I just hear running like his claws or his nails hitting the wood, wooden stairs coming down the, coming down the stairs. And I was like, what the hell? Like, what is that? Like, and he brushed by me and I was like, wait, like, is he fine? Like what's going on? And then he ran out the back door, and that's uh, when it got a little scary again. So I see him run out the back door, and I go and follow him just to check and see what he's doing. And he got to the bottom of the stairs, right out here. Again, here in Maryland, so I'm not going outside. But right at the bottom of those stairs down there, him, he was just laying there. Right at the bottom of the stairs, and he, he, alright, if you, if you don't want to hear this, then... Listen. Lay down and he puked two times while he was laying down. So um, he puked two times and then stood up really fast, went poop and then went pee. And I was like, he's lost like all control of his system that he has running in there. So this is pretty bad. So not to mention while he was having a seizure um, upstairs, he uh, he pooped on the ground and he just he peed twice. He just lost all control of everything. And I'm sorry if that's gross or you're eating or something, but that's what happened. But yeah, I was like, Fenway, like, are you okay? And then when I said his name, he ran back up the stairs, up there. Oh, 
ran up the stairs up there and came to the dog door and just drank some of the water out of his bowl for a little bit. And then he laid back down on the ground and I was like, okay, cool. It's his little episode that he just had is over. Like it's done. Um, maybe he's just going to calm down now and go back to bed. And by this time it is around, so it started at 220, lasted for an hour. The seizure did. Um, so 3.20, it's probably around 3.45 a.m. right now. And uh, all of a sudden, he's laying there for a solid five minutes right next to his water bowl. And he got up again really fast and sprinted out and laid at the same spot. This time it was a little different because he wasn't moving. He wasn't doing anything. He just laid there. Looking at him, I'm the only one outside. Everybody else is trying to sleep and they're tired and everything. And I'm tired too. And I'm sitting there and I was like, this is the worst night ever. He's going to die. And there's... It, like that sucks like this is the worst night ever but um i went i i said what i wanted to say to him i thought i told him i loved him and i told him that like he was like one of the best dogs i ever had he, maybe the best dog i've ever had and uh i went back inside because i know that dogs when they pass away they like to have their own privacy and they don't want anybody to watch them when they go and uh i went back inside for a little bit and then i walked back out about two minutes later and I saw that he wasn't standing there, and I was like, that, that's it, there he goes. But no, he was just sitting right around the corner, like right around the corner of the deck. And I looked at him, I was like, what are you doing? And he just runs back upstairs, runs over in the family, living room, and just sits there. And just laid down and slept the rest of the night. I brought my mattress up that I have in here, right here. I brought that mattress right there up. And I brought my blankets down and my pillows and I laid with them and I slept. And I had school in the morning as well. So I didn't sleep for, I slept for like a solid three hours or three hours and 40 minutes or something like that. That's it. Um, because I ended up actually falling asleep. I just kept keeping my eye on him because I didn't know what was going to happen. So I actually ended up, didn't I, I, I didn't fall asleep until like 540. And I wake up, I think my dad's home, but I wake up at 6 20 a.m. to go to school so yeah that was like the scariest day night of my life what do you think huh about Fenway's seizure how scary was it uh it, was, it wasn't a pleasant thing to witness especially that early i thought he might stroke out you afraid to come downstairs yeah because you're on the stairs you're making him nervous so there was some hard chargers at the golf course like playing in this downpour it's downpouring oh yeah i know i tried to show them where he was laying at night. The doctor said he has, but he's fine. He's perfectly fine. The day after that, he was acting completely normal. He ate his breakfast, he ate his dinner, he played with her all day. He was, he was cool. He's chilling now, right, like, he's good right now. Right now I'm watching my boy Rewinds and his live stream right now. By the way, everybody go follow and sub to this man. Right there, 623 subs. Get him to 7K, 700 guys, 700. He's on the road to 1K. But let's get him to 700, guys. Come on. Please. He really deserves it. I don't know why it's not focusing right now. But he's playing run because he's bored of everything else. So, here, I'm going to type in the, his chat. Say what's up to YouTube. There I am. So, Sreen. Shout out to Sreen. JT Beadle. Who else? Sub to stream vlog. Oh, sub to stream vlog. There you go, guys. Sub to stream vlog. It's lit, boys. That's all he has to say. Do you want me to turn on the audio, boys? Hey, it's lit. There he is, okay? So go, go sub to my man. Go follow him on social media and go sub to him. He really does deserve... Uh, 1k and definitely deserves all 623 of his subscribers. So yeah, definitely go do that guys. Look at this. I got copyrighted guys All right, so here's the finale that I uploaded today, which is Saturday. This is going up Tomorrow, but all right, so 57 likes 18 likes or 57 views 18 likes no dislikes but I got a copyright claim on it like what, Like I can't monetize it nothing i got a copyright claim on it and i forget why but there's gaz by the way I also go sub to gaz because he is an amazing guy and he helps edit everything for me so 
not not vlogs, but he helps edit all my gaming stuff. So definitely go shout out shout out to him. Go follow him. Go sub to him. He's a great guy. Here's his channel, by the way. There's so yep, definitely go to that. There's his Twitter. Um, I think that's all that's up there. But yeah, that's Gaz. So yeah, definitely go follow, uh, sub to him. He's at 1,042 subs. So yeah, definitely deserves it. So there it is. Includes copyright content. And I think it got, they said it's copyrighted because of the song, like, obviously the song that I used, but. Alright, there you go. Thrive Music. Monetized by copyright owner. And I can either remove the song or file a dispute, and I'm not going to do either because there's really no point. I don't know, that's my first time ever being copyrighted. Um... I don't know if it's going to do anything to it or do anything to me. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'm not too bummed out about it. It's, it's just, I'm pretty sure I just can't make money off this video. So, sorry. I didn't edit it anyway. Um, but I did hit the clips in it. But, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not too butthurt about it. I'm going to go say what's up to my family. And probably end the vlog here just because it's kind of weird vlogging with my family. I just want to give them their own privacy. Um, see, I'm going to end the vlog here. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I don't know what I'm bringing for you guys tomorrow in the vlog, but um, who knows? Um, somebody's down there probably going to beat me up right now. So, yeah. <laughs>